Hello everyone, I'm Blessing Adesuji, a developer advocate here at Circle. Before we move ahead on your journey of building with Programmable Wallet API, let's review some basic understanding. The first concept we'll review together is Programmable Wallet Infrastructure Models. We will understand the different types and their characteristics in order to determine the correct wallet for your need or your project. There are two distinct types of infrastructure models, which is to say there are two types of programmable wallets. The first is user-controlled wallet, and the second is developer-controlled wallet. Now let's break down each type, understand what they mean, and how to decide which type of wallet to use for your project. User-controlled wallet provide autonomy to your application's users by ensuring they are full control over their wallet and they are the ones to initiate and approve all wallet activity. This is done by using a web tool like experience, which is setting a pin code and wallet recovery questions created via our API and SDK. Here's an analogy to drive home the point. Imagine a digital safe box in a hotel room. This safe box is where your users keep their valuables like passport or money. For user controlled, their programmable wallet is the safe box that only the end users have pin to access. The hotel management in this analogy, Circle and the developers, can't access the safe. If the users forget their pin, there's a set of security questions that they must answer to regain access, just as they would have control over and responsibility for everything inside that safe. In this case of a user-controlled wallet, they have full control over their digital asset within the wallet and need their pin to make any transactions. When would you want to provide a user-controlled wallet for your users? Well, the user-controlled wallet is ideal for applications where the users control the ability to access the private key used to interact with the blockchain. Let's consider a few examples of applications that you can use user-controlled wallets to build. The first example is centralized and decentralized exchanges. Think of an exchange platform where users can directly trade their cryptocurrencies and run transactions from one wallet to another wallet. The next example is payments platform. Think of a company that accepts crypto payments for transactions and allow users to use the platform as a store of value. In this use case, the end user will want the autonomy to manage all of their transactions. Another example is decentralized social media. These are platforms where users control their data and can monetize their content directly. The users will need direct access and control over their assets. The last example is crypto collectibles and NFT platforms. This would be applications where users can purchase, hold, and sell unique digital assets. Now let's talk about developer-controlled wallets, which is the second type of programmable wallet. Using the same analogy, Think of developer-controlled wallet as managing a front desk safe for your users. Instead of users personally accessing the safe in their room, they entrust developers like you, the front desk, to handle it. You take on the responsibility of handling their valuables and performing transactions on their behalf. This provides them with a great convenience as they don't have to remember a pin or know how the safe box technology works in this analogy. They simply rely on you to manage it for them. What then are the examples of applications that you can build with a developer-controlled wallet? The developer-controlled wallet is ideal for applications where developers handle more of the blockchain interactions on behalf of the users by not requiring a user to authenticate all of the transactions, especially those unfamiliar with blockchain intricacies. The developer or the platform handles the blockchain interaction on behalf of the user. Let's talk about a few examples. The first is centralized exchange. Think of platforms where exchange holds the user's funds and the user interacts with a platform interface and not directly with the blockchain. Another example is gaming platforms. Consider games where players can earn crypto or in-game items without having to understand blockchain mechanics. Developers undo the backend transactions on behalf of the user. Another example which is great is e-commerce websites. These are online stores that accept crypto as payment. Users can purchase goods without interacting directly with a blockchain uh, wallet or understanding that. The developer-controlled wallet undoes the transaction process for the users. The last example is digital content or subscription-based platform. 
This would be websites where creators sell digital content like videos, articles, music, and so on. Users buy content without necessarily understanding blockchain while the platform handles the crypto transactions. Each type of wallet serves different purposes and caters to different users' needs. While user controlled are used in use cases where the users themselves control the blockchain interactions or abilities, developer control wallets are ideal for applications where developers and do more of the blockchain interactions by not requiring a user to authenticate all of their transaction. And in the case of user control, the user needs to know their PIN and use a set of recovery questions to access their account in case of a lost PIN. So thank you for watching. My name is Blessing and I'll catch you in the next video.